everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to reset a user password in keyclock using admin rest api so let's get started so i'm using this particular command so here you can see i will just run this command with the help of docker on my local system and it will start keyclock for me once this command has finished running what you need to do is you just need to go to localhost colon 8080 so i'll just uh, refresh this okay i think it is still uh, it, it has not finished yet so let's just wait for this to finish uh, okay so this is finished now i just need to log in with the admin credentials now to uh, use the admin rest api we first need to generate an access token for that we need to create a client by default there is one realm called master realm this is very important because we will be using this particular realm name inside our admin rest api if you want you can create a separate realm as well but i won't recommend that let's just go to client click on create client i'll just give the client id as my client okay i'll click on next i'll enable client authentication i'll enable the direct access grant i'll click on next again and here i'll just click on save okay then i'll just go to credentials again the uh, client id is also very important i'll just go to credentials i'll copy this client secret next go to postman first here you will have to go to this particular api so my key clock is hosted on localhost colon 8080 that's what i am using over here so you'll have to change it if it is on different domain for you slash realm this should be the realm name which is master by default slash protocol slash open id connect slash token and here uh, we first pass our client id which is my client here i'll paste the client secret username and password is admin for me and grant type will be password so i'll just click on send it will generate an access token now the access token is only one minute long so be careful you can change this time as well uh, which i have shown in in a different video if you are curious you can watch that now to reset again we'll have to use here localhost colon 8080 slash admin slash realm and here it should be master right so i'll just use master i'll remove this slash users now here we want the user id so for that i'll just use the admin user which i have so i'll just copy this user id and i'll just paste it over here slash reset password okay then just go to body here type password here you what you want the value of your new password to be i'll just uh, name it as admin one two three okay and here sorry one two three and here you can specify whether the password should be temporary or not i'll just have kept it as false if you keep keep it as true then once the user uh, logs in again he will have to reset he will have to set a new password that's why i've kept it as false so it is admin one two three but you can keep it as true as well depending on your use case now we again need the authorization token inside our header so i can just remove this access token from here i'll again click on this hit this particular endpoint i'll just copy this access token okay and i'll just paste it over here and i'll click on send and here you can see we are getting 204 no content that means the password has been reset so i'll just copy this admin123 i'll go to key clock i'll just log this out okay if i try to use admin admin and if i click on sign in here you can see it is selling invalid username or password now i'll just paste admin123 over here i'll click on sign in and here you can see i was able to sign in so yeah that's how you can do it thank you for watching bye